okay guys welcome to my youtube channel where i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a group with the tf console so today i'm using the tf editor to demonstrate this i have nothing on my input channel so i'm going to load one of the scenes for us to use for this demonstration so i'm going to load the jazz combo set and record that so here we have the kick drum on the first channel we have the snail drum on the second channel and we have the full kit drum on the third channel we want to be carrying these three channels to the group so on this group we can actually do compression eq and effect on the group but the normal this year group we have is just adding of channels and we all know the DCA digital controlled amplifier. So but on the on the group I'm about to show you guys today, you'll be able to add EQ, compression and effect on them. So let's dive into it. So I'm going to be choosing one of my auxiliary as the group because this is my stereo auxiliary bus and I want to use it for my group. So what we want to do is first of all rename it just to be able to identify them so we'll be calling this drum group so after that maybe you could add an icon to help you remember okay after doing that then raise the fader to a, a, a zero db just for the demonstration but during your mix you could be doing some changes on that so this is what we'll do we'll assign this auxiliary to the stereo master feeder which is this so that whatever we put in on this group is going to go directly to the stereo master bus and if you have a subwoofer connected you could engage this and raise this up as well so let's go and bring in the input so here we have the the kick drum the snail and the full kits of the drum so we'll raise this to 0 db and we'll raise this to 0 db we'll do the same for the third and we want to disengage this from a pre fade to a post fade and make those channels post fade so that whatever we are doing on the input changes also on the on the group so you could see that this is my my input and it's changing as as i'm bringing it down up and so forth it's also changing on that particular group so one other thing we have to do on this input channel is to disengage it from going to the stereo master bus which is here so we don't want it to go to the stereo master bus we want it to go directly to the group then from the group the group sends it to the stereo master bus so we have done that for the first channel if you don't have if if you have a, a subwoofer connected then you have to disengage this you do the same for the second and the third channel and yeah that is how you do your group and if you want to add anything to the group maybe eq you could also do that you could boost at any frequency you want if you want to add compression you could do that and if you want to add effect on that particular group you could also do that so this is how you create your group on the tf series consoles it's very very easy and you could use this to improve your mix thank you guys for